everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is about stains. Uh, stains might be very difficult to remove. Uh, people use different kind of stuff. Uh, they use the stain removers. They try to scrape it, rub it down, paint it over. Uh, some of these uh, techniques work, some not. Um, so in this video I'm gonna show you how builders or decorators deal with all kind of stains that you might find on your walls. So what we've got here, uh, this is the permanent marker. Uh, I think this will be the most difficult to remove. Uh, then we've got the morning coffee, a beetroot sauce. Uh, this is the red wine, uh, my wife's lipstick. And this is some oil uh, that I think it might be difficult to remove as well as this is uh, quite sticky. Um, and I've got one more thing. People use ketchup, a lot of ketchup, uh, so let's make some ketchup stain as well. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry uh, and then I'm gonna give you one simple solution uh, that you can use at home just to get rid of all of these uh, stains in one go. So here I've got the white emulsion for walls and ceiling uh, from Dulux, the finish is matte, uh, so that's just simple emulsion. And in this, uh, and in here, I've got the non-drip gloss. This is a high sheen for exterior wood and metal, exterior and interior. This is a solvent-based paint. This is a water-based paint. So you see this line here. I'm gonna apply the um, water-based emulsion on top, so up to here, and below this point I'm gonna apply the non-drip gloss high sheen, so you will see how the paints cover the stains. Obviously the best would be to sand it down a bit with a like 80 grit or 120 grit sandpaper. I'm not gonna do this, I'm gonna apply uh, the paint straight on it. So first let's do the emulsion, this is just emulsion like it was before, painted like it was before. The simple wall emulsion, white. <clears throat> and below let's do the non-drip gloss. You can see the difference straight away. So then we need to leave it for a couple of hours to dry and then we coat. So after a couple of hours, this is a touch dry, almost dry. This is completely dry, this is emulsion, it dries quick. So let's do another coat, the second coat. First emulsion on top. And then the <clears throat> oil based paint, second coat goes here as well. <clears throat> then we need to leave it to dry again for a couple of hours. So as you see, after applying the second coat, this is almost dry. Uh, almost all the stains disappeared. Uh, just the darker color stains is still a bit visible, like this one and this one. Uh, maybe a bit here as well. Uh, but when you compare it with the, just, the, just the emulsion paint, so it's much, much difference. So now we need to apply another two coats of emulsion as we normally do when we paint the room on both section, top and the bottom and we see what will happen. So that's the standard emulsion for walls and ceiling, the Dulux one. So 
So this is the final result of my test. Uh, both sections are painted four times. This section four times just the emulsion. This, uh, this section two times the solvent based paint and then two times uh, the uh, emulsion as well. So you see the difference. This section is completely covered, no marks, no stains. Uh, but on this one you still see uh, the letter S. Here's a, a bit of coffee. It's almost not visible, but when there will be bigger stains, so probably you will see it. Um, then the beetroot was the hardest to, to remove. These are fine, and you see the, uh, the lipstick as well. So overall my conclusion is, uh, if you've got any stains uh, on the wall, obviously if, you, if the stain is fresh, try to scrape it, uh, sand it down, wash it down. But if uh, you've got old stains uh, and you've, let's say you want to redecorate the whole room, so the first put two coats of um, the oil-based uh, or solvent-based paint on the stains and then two coats of emulsion and everything will be covered. I hope this video was quite useful for you. So if you like my channel, please subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching.